lunges can be done stepping forward or stepping backwards. Regardless of whether you step forward or back, the alignment principles remain the same. When you're in that lunge, we want our front knee to be directly over our front ankle, never out in front. And this back knee, if you have the range of motion, we want it to just gently touch down to the floor. We never want to smack our kneecap into the floor. We're striving for that range of motion to be able to touch the back knee down, but if you don't have that range of motion today, no worries. Go the best you can, making sure to always keep that knee directly aligned over your front ankle and work your way down to the point of where you can touch that back knee to the floor. One of the biggest mistakes I see people making in their lunges is what we call tight roping, where they put one foot directly in front of the other. I've never been on a tight rope myself, but it looks like it's hard to balance. And same thing if you're lunging and your feet are right in front of the other, it's going to be hard to balance. So instead, while you're lunging, we want to start with our feet hip width apart. And then as we go into that lunge, our feet are still hip width apart. That's gonna make balancing a lot easier. Another common flaw that I see in lunges is thinking that people need to lean forward, which is going to shoot this front knee way out in front of the ankle and the chest falls forward. We don't need to be thinking about pushing ourselves forward in our lunge. What we need to do is step, plant, and then keep our chests upright while we lower straight down. Both knees should be making a 90 degree angle. Split squats can be used in place of a lunge. Split squats are where we set our feet up as if we were in a lunge stance, but rather than stepping back and forth, we stay in this lunge stance and we think about moving our torsos straight up and straight down. Just like in a lunge, we're gently kissing that back knee to the floor. We're performing all the reps on one side switching, performing all the reps on the other side, and then going about the rest of the workout. Split squats are not necessarily easier because we're keeping our muscles under tension the entire time, but it does reduce the number of times that you have to step during the set, which some people prefer. One more thing to be aware of in our lunges is the side to side alignment of our front knee. We wanna keep it directly over that front ankle, and that means side to side as well. So we don't want the knee caving in or out. We're bracing it directly over that front ankle. Once you've mastered the principles of the lunge, keeping that front knee directly over the front ankle and not wobbling side to side, you might be ready to add weight. You can hold the weight at your side while you do lunges or put them on our shoulders in what we call the front rack position. When we add weight, we take our lunges to that next level. And now you're ready to do lunges. Have a great workout.